Welcome back to another video. My name is Stephen Foster, and recently, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know my friend and incredible photographer, Cody Rupper, joined us here in the PNW, his first time ever in the PNW, and we went out to Glacier National Park. Now, while I was going through all the footage from this trip over the past several days, I came across this clip where Cody says, I need a drone shot of the car going down this. And it got me thinking, and that's part of the reason why I wanted to make this video, is I was thinking about where I was at in that moment on the trip. I was exhausted, it had been a long day of driving, it was our first day driving out. We were still a ways out from where we needed to be in order to be able to get into Glacier, uh, the time we wanted to, to be able to shoot sunrise, sunset, and, and hit all the markers that we wanted to hit on this trip. And Cody had recently just crashed his Mavic 2. So what we ended up having to work with was the Mavic Mini 2 on this trip. Cody also brought the FPV, that's gonna be a whole separate video that I hope to do with him very soon. But uh, I wanted to do this video to talk both kind of about the how good the Mavic Mini 2 can be, but also kind of just this overall mindset that you need to have when you're working with something like the Mavic Mini 2S that doesn't have all the features of like uh, tracking and uh, just all the stuff that you can do with something like a Mavic 2 S, but still being willing to use this to get a good shot. Now, when we finally pulled off at this point, I remember thinking this sequence is gonna take us, we're gonna lose like a whole hour trying to do this. But it ended up being that Cody was actually able to get the Mini 2 up in the air super fast. You saw in the intro sequence that he was actually trying to do the positioning and calculating and stuff with the drone. And I think at some point he just said screw it and still somehow got that drone up in the air flying. And I was looking at the timestamps on these files to see we really only spent 10 minutes out of our way to get what I think is one of, one of the best shots that we got from this trip, just from a storytelling perspective side, being able to have the that final clip in the intro sequence where the drone is sort of hovering, the car comes into frame, the camera gimbal pitches, all of that is being done manually, which is insane, but the fact that the mini is actually stabilized well enough and the gimbal is so good, the image sensor looks great enough and the footage is actually kind of it's not bad to work with. It's actually got a lot of uh, range to it and we were able to get a lot of color out of it, which is really cool. So for anyone who's out there shooting, especially this summer, road trips, the Mavic 2 Mini, great tool to have in the arsenal to get shots like this, but it's also about the mindset. You have to go in there, first of all, go in a pair. We had three of us, including my wife, Nick, so she was able to shoot me in that final sequence where we're driving off. Cody's flying the drone. If you're traveling with friends, this is perfect, right? Like have one of your friends who's the best person at flying drones, which happens to be Cody out of the three of us. We did have to do several takes with this shot. Now, that said, we got the shot all within 10 minutes. It, it wasn't that bad. Now, in the past, when I've been flying drones, I, I don't have a ton of practice with these guys. I, I've flown, I think, the Mini 2 that we have maybe half a dozen times. I'm not good at it. I'm not good at it. You do have to put in the work. And so if you're gonna go out on a trip, make sure that you spend a few hours getting really familiar with your drone so you can pull these types of shots off and not have to waste a ton of time. But I would be curious, let me know what you guys think as far as drone photography goes, drone, drone videography goes, because I know we took a ton of shots on this trip. Uh, it was awesome having Cody with us. If you guys would like to see more drone shots on this channel, give uh, give this video a like because I think we'd like to fly drones more. I think it'd be kind of fun to have more shots here on this channel. Uh, and with that, please be kind, both in life and in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel if you aren't already because everyone who's here, thank you so much. Like, I am so honored by all you guys who have subscribed to this channel. Like, we're, it's, it's cool. It's really awesome to have all of you here. Thank you so much. We're going to do it again soon, real soon. Tons of stuff happening this summer. We're traveling. We're, 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 we're spending some time in America and it's a good time to be in America. We got a lot of places to explore things to see the wild west, if you will. How about Cody's hat? That's pretty sick, huh? Where's the Stetson? My boy Cody's got, thank you so much to Cody for being a part of this video. Thank you so much to my wife, Nikki, who's just an amazing photographer in her own right. I'll link both of their Instagrams down below. We'll do it again soon, everyone. Later.